Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade or replace the hard drive in your 27 inch 2015 iMac and replacing it with an SSD. So before we get started, I'd actually like to do a quick uh, speed test with the hard drive and then we will do a speed test with the new SSD, starting with a boot up test. Okay, so as you can see, we're booted up. And let's go ahead and run a speed test here. Um, now this iMac actually does crash quite a bit. That is why actually I am replacing it. Um, that's why I'm replacing the hard drive on it because it will randomly just lock up and you'll have to restart the computer. So I'll go ahead and start the speed test. As you can see, we're getting really poor write speeds right now. Like that's terrible. It was doing better yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why it's so much worse right now. Maybe because it just booted up. Either way though, that is some absolutely terrible read and write speeds. Maybe it was because ProPresenter was trying to load. Okay, let's see if it does any better this time. Yeah, it's still really bad. So as you can see, it is really, really slow, and that is why we are going to be replacing the SSD. So, okay, so there it goes. It sped up a bit that time. Either way, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about tools that you'll be needing. First, you'll need a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, I will be using a heat gun in this video. You will also need a T10 screwdriver here. You will also need a thin metal pry tool or a razor knife and a plastic prying tool. Okay, so first you're going to want to take a heat gun or hair dryer and just go around the edges of the display um, for about seven minutes on the high setting for a heat gun or hair dryer. I tried the low setting, but it will do basically nothing. Okay, so now that we are done heating up the display, let's go ahead and start with our metal tool and get in between the plastic, I mean the metal and the glass, very gently, not cracking the display. If you think it needs to be heated more, then heat it more, because that is what loosens up the glue. So we will go all the way around the edge of the display. Okay, that, so now that you have gone all the way around the edge with your metal tool, now it is time to pry it open a little bit more with the plastic prying tool. So to do this, start with your metal tool and then wedge your plastic tool in between the display and the housing of the iMac. Okay, so as you can see, I have the display fully detached from my iMac. Okay, so now we are going to need to take some tweezers and undo the display cable right there. That is the video. And the other one is the power for the display. Again, make sure that your display does not fall. It will tear these cables. Okay, so for the power connection, you can just lightly pull that out. For the video connection, you're probably going to want to use some tweezers and pull up the tape, which should allow it to disconnect just like that. So once the cables are disconnected, again very carefully, you are able to lower your display and break this tape here at the bottom, break this glue. 
and just like that the display is removed from the iMac. Okay so now that you've got your iMac display off go ahead and get your T10 screwdriver and now we need to take these two screws off here to remove the speaker so we can take off the hard drive. Okay, so now very gently, once the speaker is loose, go ahead and pull it up like this. But there is a cable behind it that you will have to pull up from behind the hard drive. Right here, runs all the way around. So now that you have loosened the speaker, make sure that this wire is loose here and so is this one so they don't tear. And now you just need to remove these two T8 screws that are holding, that are securing the hard drive. Make sure they don't fall in the iMac. Okay, so now that the mount here is removed and you can disconnect your SATA and power cable. Okay, so for mounting this SSD, obviously you can get a three and a half inch to two and a half inch adapter for these, but we are actually going to take a non-traditional approach and use a double-sided tape this is gorilla tape and actually stick the ssd on the back right here this is a cheap easy quick way um, to solve the mounting issue i've done it on another mac and it works great so we're actually going to have to put it on the front side of the ssd because the sata cable connects like this and it will have to flip over just like that so what i'm going to do is just cut two strips long enough to cover the entirety of the SSD here and then do another one on the other side. Okay, so now that we are done with the Gorilla Glue, it's exactly where it should be. Go ahead and connect your SATA connection here. Make sure it's all the way snapped in and then turn your SSD and try to stick it as flat as you can for the surface of the iMac and just like that you have a very cheap way to mount the SSD now I would actually recommend putting this mount back in just in case you want to use it in the future so it doesn't get lost so I'm going to do that really fast now just go ahead and place the speaker all the way back down and let's go ahead and screw the speaker back in Okay, so just how we did it earlier when we had to peel up this tape here at the bottom, even though part of it stuck, we're actually going to need to go around the entire iMac and LCD. And it could be a long process. It may not if it just comes up just like that. You need to go around the entire edge of the iMac and remove the adhesive. Okay, so now for the display, we're going to do the same thing. Go around the edges, removing the adhesive from the display. I would recommend laying it on a towel or something soft just so it doesn't get scratched up while you do this. So now what I'm going to do is actually, again, something a bit different, uh, non-traditional, but this will save a lot of time and money. In my case, I do not have the new adhesive strips or uh, tape that you need to buy to go around the side of the mat. So we are actually going to use Gorilla Glue and just put dots around the edges of the display. So I would highly recommend laying down your iMac for this. Keep in mind though you do still have to reattach the power and or the power and the video connections for the display. So be very very cautious if you do decide to use this method. If you have new adhesive strips, obviously you can place that around the sides of the display. So I'm just going to put um, little dots around the edges of the display. Try not to uh, allow this to drip anywhere else and try not to put too big of a dot because one, you want to be able to get this off in the future and two, because it will start bleeding into other things. Make sure when you get to the camera to go wide around it.
So now that you have your spots of glue around the iMac, be very careful at the bottom not to get any on the motherboard. It's very easy to, so just be very careful. So now we're going to grab our display and latch it here on the bottom. And as we do that, we will connect our two bottom connectors. And for the display connector, you push it in here and then you latch it. It's pretty obvious when you get to this step. So you push it in and then you flip the latch over just like that. And now that we have our glue around the display, just make sure that it is lined up properly with the edge of the iMac. And then make sure to push it down really well around the edges. So when you set it down, just make sure that it lines up properly. Make sure that it's pushed all the way against the base of the iMac. If you see any glue come out, make sure to wipe it up. That is, if you're doing this lazy method of using glue on the display, just make sure you give it time to dry. And just like that, you have now upgraded or replaced the hard drive in your 27-inch iMac. Now let's go ahead and install an OS and run those speed tests. Okay, so it is actually a few days later at the time of filming this and I've got the OS installed. I just haven't had time to come back and film the video. Anyways, let's go ahead and start booting it up. This is in real time. I've actually installed Mojave for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, because it is a pretty current OS. It's not the latest, so it won't have many of the bugs and shouldn't slow this Mac down quite as much. And two, because it is the latest version that is still compatible with 32-bit apps. And this is not actually my computer, so I'm not entirely sure what all uh, programs that this computer is going to be running. So as you can see that booted up extremely fast compared to um, before. So let's go ahead and run that black magic uh, speed test here. So wow we're getting 470 megabytes per second read. Uh, if you remember when I first booted it up uh, at the beginning of this video it was like 10 megabytes a second. It eventually did speed up but I'm not sure why it started off so slow. But just to show you, um, that is how much faster this iMac is. Like literally anything you click on, it's loaded pretty much instantly. So the SSD made this iMac so much faster. And I'll just go ahead and show you that we are indeed running a solid state uh, drive here. It has detected it as a one terabyte solid state drive. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit the bell icon so you never miss any future videos. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. As well as if you actually have any iMac repair tips, um, you're welcome to leave those in the comments as well. I'm always appreciative of any tips I can take for iMac repairs. Um, again, Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.